What's up, guys? Welcome to the beer portion of the Morning Beer Podcast. What's going on? Um, yeah. So anyway, I got a new uh, logger right here for you guys. It's not really new, but this logger finally hit Texas. You know what I'm saying? It's East Coast logger. It finally fucking hit Texas after all these goddamn years, man. I think it got here last week. Um, I don't know if I'm one of the first people in Texas trying it out. I doubt it. There's always someone like before you. You know what I'm saying? They're all, <laughs> I already did the video before you. Yeah, well, your video fucking sucked, and mine doesn't. That's the difference. I have background noise. I have fucking, you know, people getting shot in the background. I got fucking cars going by and everything. You, your video don't have none of that shit because your video is not authentic, and your video sucks ass. So, and that brew is the Yingling, my friends. Yingling, my friends. That's right. Fucking nice uh, Yingling traditional lager. Original Amber Beer. Um, it is from Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Yingling is America's oldest brewing company coming out from 1829. Um, interesting fact. I know for a while it was shut down, and it used to be called Eagle Brewery. When it first came out, it was called Eagle Brewery in, in 1829. And... Um, it got shut down from, I think, in the 70s or whatever, but it was rebooted back in 1987, year I was born. Holla at your boy. And um, it was, it was, they were using the same old original recipe. It came back as a craft beer, and people enjoyed it. It has a nice twist top. I like that. I like that a lot. It's not one of them fucking horrible things. I, I'm not a big fan of the green glass, because usually green glass means your beer can get skunky faster. Uh, of the bottle. Oh, damn. But we're going to see this brew, which is a f lot darker than I thought it would be. It's, like, really dark here, man. You know what I'm saying? That's for the snapshot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a lot darker than I thought it would be. A very dark amber-colored beer. A thin white head. The smell is light malts and sweet grains, which I kind of enjoy that smell. It's like a original fucking, it smells like America to me. America! You know what I'm saying? So we're going to try this bitch out. Oh, yeah. Heavily, highly, great, car perfect carb carbonated, a light, crisp fucking taste to it. It only that dry taste in your mouth, a really solid car caramel kind of like flavor backed by light hops, I would say. Um... Definitely don't really want to taste the hops. Definitely taste the sweet grains in it and the light malts mainly. But like I said, this is a very good fucking brew. Wow. Um, a lot of my customers in my store have been asking about it. They've been asking about it for over a year now. And I'm glad to say it's finally here in Texas. I got it at the HEB. So uh, definitely hit that up. Um, but yeah, hopefully my store gets it pretty soon, man. Because this right here, this is a very good fucking brew. Um, I hope you guys uh, try it out and enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast as well. Which I don't think I should say that because I'm going to release this video way before I release the podcast. Which... <laughs> Fuck it. That's why my videos are always better than everybody else's. But anyway, um, yeah, this is from Pottsville, um, Pennsylvania. The only history I really know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say. It's 4.5 ABV, so it's not that high in um, alcohol content. So it's not. It's one of those that you can easily get like five or six down. And they're like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, it pairs great with like uh, fried foods, uh, grilled foods, so especially if you're like a, you like to grill a lot of shit on the grill and, you know, barbecue day. This is good for your, this is a good brew for that. And also spicy foods as well. So if you want some spicy fucking hot wings, it's a good brew for that too, man. And all I got to say is, man, I think this is worth the wait to Texas. I'm going to give this a, oh, there's a hop head, man. I don't, I'm going to feel bad for giving it this because this is not like that hoppy, man. I, I enjoy my beer with a lot of hops. And as a hop head, I would usually, um, grade something like this low grade but i'm gonna have to give us a nine out of ten man just because i feel like it was worth the wait i feel like it was worth the hype that people gave it to me and usually i don't like things that are hyped up but this right here was worth the fucking hype guys so you guys have a great fucking evening and um and go out there and go out there and get yourself a yingling man go out there and get yourself a yingling traditional american lager yingling i don't know how the song goes i don't i don't even know how it even has a fucking song but fuck it if it does it does it does now bitch yingling traditional lager amber yell I don't fucking know. Fuck. 
definitely if you want to do more research into yingling it's definitely something you should look into it's a it's a great american history uh kind of thing that you know especially if you're into beers mm -hmm. and into history like myself i read up a lot on it and um it's really too much to actually talk about in a video so definitely look up yingling it's a very great fucking beard um just 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 out of history wise man you know what i'm saying just, just out of history wise like this is a good fucking beer man um I know it's weird to say that about some things, but um, it is what it is, man. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy it. I really hope you guys go out and try, especially us down here in Texas, because it's finally hitting our fucking state. I know it's been on the East Coast for thousands of years, but you know it's finally hitting good states, the South. So um, definitely and definitely go out and enjoy this fucking beer, man. You can just something that has a lot of American history into it, and a lot of like just a lot of just it's a really interesting story, and. I really think that if you're a beer head, even if, even if you don't like lagers and all like that, it's definitely something to look into and definitely some good beer history to learn from Yingling itself since it is one, the first brewery in, or the oldest brewery in Texas, or not Texas, in America, in the whole fucking American states, man. So definitely drinking something that, you know, they were drinking back in 1829, you know what I'm saying?